Right. Well, we, we're part of the Halifax Regional Cap Association, and the opportunity came for us to get a GPS, which is a global positioning system. And what the GPS does, it's, it's like having a living map in your hand, and you get coordinates that lead you to places. So it's very, very uh, technologically advanced, I would say. With the girls, SOAR program that we're putting on. It's specifically aimed at girls because it's part of this other project that we're working on. And we felt that, that while girls use technology a lot, they perhaps have not used their GPS system before. So we wanted to introduce them in a situation where they were comfortable. So we've set up a geocache, and a geocache is like a treasure hunt using a, the GPS system. And you go out and hide a little stash, it's a little box, and in the box is a log book and little mementos and souvenirs of the area. And you take you, the coordinates of where you hide the GPS, and other people have their own GPS systems, key in the coordinates and have to follow the, the electronic treasure hunt to the cache. And when they get there, they sign in the log book, they leave a little something, take a little something, and uh, have learnt how to use the, the GPS in the meantime. That particular day, we'll also bring the girls back and they'll go onto the computers in, in this room while they're having hot chocolate and warming up, because it's still winter here in Canada. Um, but they will uh, then go and, and look about geocaching online, and it's, it's a huge movement, and the people, we hope, will come to Terence Bay and, and find the geocache long after the girls' saw program. Um, I hope it introduces people to the capsite here and, and to the beautiful village of Terence Bay. We've, um, we do a lot to try and promote our community and, and introduce people to it, make them a welcoming place. Um, so to have a lot of information online um, and with the GPS projects, if you get more information when you move your cursor over an icon on a map that allows you to read more about the history of the area, or if it's a business, uh, our next project will be to go along and take coordinates, GPS coordinates for our businesses and link them to the Google Earth map, which then, if you move your cursor over, over an individual business, it will give you perhaps information about who started the business, how long they've been going, how many employees, what type of services they offer. If they've got a web page, you'll no doubt browse onto that and, and therefore increase the footprint of, of this area, the prospect communities, globally. And more people will know more things about our community and hopefully want to come and visit. Um, we also use the GPS, a global positioning system unit, um, for a project in the community. We've got lots of um, little parks and play areas and lakes and beaches and things, but not everybody knows where they are. And so a lot of times people would suggest putting up signs, but signs kind of litter the, the roadside and are not that attractive. So what we did, we took the GPS and went to all of these local recreational spots, took the coordinates, and they're linked through the Google map on our, on our website. So when you go into the recreation site, you see all kinds of little icons which will tell you what the feature is, whether it's a government wharf that you could go fishing from, or bring your boat to, or a trail, or a park, or a top lot. Um, so it was really helpful. When you click on it, you have the ability to also show photographs, so you can show you know nice pictures of the area and, and introduce people virtually to to the sites, which hopefully they'll then come to and enjoy.